you, my dear. How are you? I am good. I am good. It's the like end of October. I don't know how that happened, but we're getting close. And so, yes. So your birthday was two weeks ago and my birthday is in less than two weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 and we're not going. You're not going to do the big bash, no. the, the, the usual Halloween. No, um, this was this is my this is a big number this year too, and I was supposed to have the blowout of all parties. And oh, is that big number? It's a big number. Yes. So I am just calling it uh, forty nine and a half this year. And next year will be the big bash. So there you go. There you go. So there everyone you go. can hold their Halloween costumes for next year. And well, you get an extra year to plan. So they have to be twice as good as. Uh, oh, mm, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Hey, yeah. so add that uh, other, uh, the length or decrease the length, put that other um, design that needs mm -hmm. to come out and to outshine. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Wow. So yeah, so my my birthday is right on Halloween. So mm. it will mm. be um, mm. it'll be an interesting Halloween this year for everybody. Mm. And, correct, correct. Yes. But I still see I still see people having their they're putting the the lights up. The lights up, they're putting the decorating the yards. And I, I perceive they may do, you know, they may people will go trick or treating and I don't know how they would do it, but Max, do you know, have the mask on and some people are creating these candy shoots and they're like decorating them and it goes from their front, you know, porch and it goes down. And wow. So we'll see. I don't know. It'll be that, interesting to see. So that would yeah. be nice. That yeah. would be nice. So. so what's going on with the success sales side? Let's, let's, let's talk. So, so I, I had a, uh, yeah, I've had an interesting week this week and I, I will say at the beginning of the week, I felt like, there were too many balls in the air and it was just, you know, that feeling of, I think I've bitten off more than I can chew and I have too many things going on. And, and when I get like that, I get, um, I lose clarity mm. and I, and I feel like you get kind of paralyzed and you go, you back, go back to that. Oh, I need a to-do list with all these things. And if I check those things off, then I'm being productive and, and I had that moment, um, I listened to a productivity podcast on my, when I was driving and, mm -hmm. and it went back to that, um, that idea of, you know, find one thing, what's the one thing you're supposed to be doing right now, you know, and there's that book about called the one thing and, and, gotcha. um, and just trying to think of what is the one thing I need to do today that's actually going to move my business forward. Um, and yes, I have a lot of orders I need to process. All that stuff is important, but, but I don't feel like I'm doing what I need to do if I don't take that extra step and do that one thing that I feel like mm. is going to move my business forward. And that the thing that keeps that's on my to-do list and I move it forward every day on my list it's to the next day. And um, so yesterday I finally, I did it. And it was as easy as sending out an email to my top, 15 clients just mm. saying, Hey, it's time to be ordering for the holidays. You know, do you let's brainstorm what, you know, do you want to talk and come up with a plan? And now's the time we need to be thinking about this and just getting the responses back saying, you're right. We need to talk about this. I don't know mm. what we're going to do. And mm. yeah, we need to talk and just them think starting, just putting it in their head and thinking about it. It felt so good to have that response and, did you put a, did you put a, did you send a mass email? Did you send it with MailChimp or did you put a personal, send a personal email? Well, a couple of weeks ago, I did a, a mass email, you know, and mm -hmm. did not get the response that I wanted. So this time I just have an Excel spreadsheet and I just highlighted the ones and just said, Hey, Chris, you know, here's, you know, Hey, it's that time of year. What do you think? You know, and a short to the point email. Let's talk. Now's the time. Boom. And it was so easy. You, you, so this to, to people out there who, who go, I got to have this system in here and put this other system in there. And you're so big on systems and processes in the beginning and spending the money. Why not make the money first? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> make the money with what you have, the Excel spreadsheet, et cetera. What I have, so I have to give a report because I promised I was going to do something last week, last, yes. last two weeks, I have to give you a report on that. I, I have a, I have a CRM, but uh, I'm really not, it's not, this is counter, counter what I should be telling people, have your CRM if it works for you, right? Mm -hmm. Like what you said, you have the MailChimp or the mass email or it goes out, but you didn't get what you wanted. I, I have one note and my one note, I have the names of the individuals um prospective clients and i look at it and i fill it up at the bottom i have the latest information on there and i can go in there and get it so i took one note today oh we have someone viewing hi quintana so quintana stewart she says she's having lunch with us <laughs> thank you thank you for stopping by dear um i i took it based on what we talked last week and i said you know what i'm going to call four people today mm -hmm. and um I did it. I did it today. So I wanted to say I did it. So I, I, I did it. Hey, I did it. How did it go? <laughs> Do you know, one guy I had been hitting up, we had our onboarding, we had the, the, the conversation, you know, to what I could give, what I could, how I could serve him. And he, he didn't, we set a, a book and I book ended for him to come on to tell me his decision. He didn't come on. Mm -hmm. I called him once, twice, and I just stopped. I said, you know what? I'm not going to call him. But in this process, I looked, and he was the first person on the list because he was the last one who I spoke to. I looked on my calendar, got his number, plucked it in. Hey, how are you? And he goes, hey, how are you? I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. Now. Long story short, he says, well, you know, it was out of my budget, and I couldn't, I couldn't afford it. I said, well, uh, let me work on, in fact, what's your budget? He told me what his budget was. And I said, hey, let me work on a few things and I will shoot you something. He said, oh, that would be great. Thank you. Right. <sighs> here, you here you think that he's saying no, like I don't want to work with you. And you don't, and if you don't ask, you don't know what the, what the issue was. And if I, in persistence, had I stopped and said no, he, he, he forgot about me. He forgot about me and whatever was his priority became his priority. Now I'm back in there. So I put in the calendar in the next two, three hours, fill up a proposal for X, Y, Z and send it out to him. And I'm pretty sure I'm getting it because I asked him, did it make sense to you? Did the program make sense? So he said, oh man, it made sense, but I just don't have that, that amount. So all I'm going to do is take, customize the program Mm -hmm. and give it to him <laughs> and there's there's a sale <laughs> right right that you would have that would have been yeah that was gone that was gone that you thought was gone so yes yes so it works and I called so I, I called two you no know, four other individuals you know left a message for one another I emailed and in the email I took the notes that I took when I talked to her two a year ago it was a year ago put it in there, well, where are you with these things? And da, da, da. and I told her about these, the, the YouTube channel, come on the YouTube channel and see, you know, there was value add that you can get for your business and see where that goes. It's communication, communication, communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and knowing like, knowing where that that one, that call was better to go as an email because of the information you wanted to include um, and now you can follow up with a phone call because you've already sent the information and knowing how, how your clients are going to like for clients, I know how they respond. We talked about it before that mm -hmm. if, if they're, if they're more apt to answer an email compared to picking up the phone or some of them, I have to just bug them with a text, but I know per client, how they react. So correct. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so congratulations. It, it works y'all. It works. Uh, Liz, Liz, you know, we, we, you keep saying, well, we thank you for letting us do this. And I'm going to say that Liz, thank you. There's a reason why this is the beauty of collaboration, right? Where you think you, you don't know it all, even if you're successful. 
you don't know it all. You need you need the the village, right? It's, as it's right. saying, it takes a village to raise a child, and we were all raising children. These businesses, right? Mm -hmm. And it's we have to look on and see who are our destiny helpers, who are these individuals who will listen, prepare our burdens and come in and, and assist us. And, and thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, well, I think too that a lot of it is that a lot of us are in our own business by ourselves. And, and when you work for a company, you have that support by the, your coworkers and your, maybe your administrative assistant or your boss or, when you're in it by yourself, it's just you. So I, you know, have to high five myself and I have to mm -hmm. pick myself back up. And so I think having coaches and consultants and those people, like whatever aspect of your business or your life, like I now have a, a money coach and I have a, you know, I have a um, health coach, like, yes. because just someone to report to and just to check in with and that to hold you accountable. Like mm. we all say, oh, we don't, I can do this by myself, you know, but, but it's so much better when you have the accountability. And I'm just learning, like the more people I can have in my life that are going to be accountability partners for me, uh -huh. like I'm a rule follower. So if I tell you I'm going to do something and I'm going to talk to you in two weeks, like I'm going to get that done. Whereas <laughs> without that person, I'm going to be like, Oh yeah, I don't really, I can do that. I'll do that later. You know? So I'm I think notes. that's so big. <laughs> and, and exactly before I got, in fact, it was two or three days. I said, I, and I said it in passing that I will do it. Liz, hold me accountable. And I'm thinking to myself, gosh, when I get on that, on that show and I tell Liz, and Liz asked me, well, when did you, I'll be like, no, I didn't. How am I going to look, <laughs> right? Yeah. So as you said, a rule follower is that accountability piece that's in you, that your your, your inner compass, the compass that tells you, hey, you got something to do. And that thing was nagging me, Liz. It was nagging me. You've got to do your yeah. calls. Got and you hear calls. those people in your head, you know? Like I hear my, my nutrition coach, you know, my workout coach, I hear her in my head and I... I finished my workout. I don't necessarily have to tell her, but but I think like, oh, she'd be so happy that I did this. You yes, know, yes. just having those people in, you know, there to support you is so important. So selling success, success here. What I'm, <clears throat> what I'm hearing, excuse me, is you need the assistance. You need the assistance, even if you are Michael Jordan. Because I something that amazed me. I read, I read that. Tiger Woods and I and I knew it, but just that for it to be written and for me to see it, Tiger Woods has a button coach. Mm -hmm. He has a coach for every part of his game. LeBron James has a coach. Right. Um, all of these successful athletes, successful people, and then um, CEOs, they have mentors, as you said, right? So it, it it doesn't it doesn't say that you're weak. It doesn't say that you are. You don't have your, your, it does say you have, you are strong because for you to admit and say, I need these accountability partners in my life mm -hmm. so that I can go up and build this pyramid. That's, that's a plus plus for you. Right. And it's all part of building your team, right? Because, because like you said, Michael Jordan, he's part of a team. And as an entrepreneur, a lot of times it's just us and you just need you know, you need, everyone needs to be patted on the back and to be said, someone to say, good job. And, and as an entrepreneur, we don't celebrate our wins enough either. So, you know, you, you should be really proud that you did those four calls and, you know, now you have to follow up on a couple of them, but, I am. but I am. you see the success that you had by, by making that call that you thought was like, oh, he didn't respond. So he's not interested, you know, Correct. and, and, and Correct. you can't be afraid of, of no, because maybe it's not no, maybe it's just not exactly, you know, that, and you need to make some changes, but it's, it's not, it's not the time, right? You know, we, we give that, I was speaking to another, and this is in line with selling success. It's, I think what we're talking about today is just mindset because it's mm -hmm. receiving a nose, taking the nose as, as for what they are. No, not the time or the silence. I, I, we're, we're on a team and we have 
we have to get individuals to get on the, the mentoring uh, program. We sent the, the information to the individual, individual got it, individual got on the calendar. They did not get on, no, they, they sent the application, but did not get on the calendars for an interview. We have conversations and one of the team members go, well, I don't like this the way this is because it's not going to be a good sign when we're doing X, Y, and Z. So we're, we're all saying that. We're like, yeah, this, this shouldn't work. This shouldn't be the way it should be. And I go, well, let's, let me reach out to the person and find out. When I reached out, they said, oh my goodness, I forgot. I thought I had done it. And I went, oh my goodness, the stories we tell ourselves. Mm-hmm. No, I think, I don't know the stats, but is it 90% of every time we think that person doesn't like me or right. I'm not going to get it. I mean, 90% of the time, if you listen to that, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get it. Go, go, go and find out, ask the person, is this what um, I'm getting X, Y, Z? Is this what you're saying? Oh, no, I'm not. Then you're like, oh. <laughs> Right. And I think that that's what it is, is we're afraid of that objection and that, you know, of the no and someone saying no. But I think if someone gives me an objection, I'm happy because I can then Mm. I can answer that and I can solve that. But if you it's the silence that's hard, you know, uh, when you when they when they kind of ghost you and you don't hear from them, then then that's harder. But if they say this is why this is, you know, it's the it's the budget or it's the you know, this is why I have to say no or, you know, give me a reason so then I can come back and and wow. fix that for you. Wow. I never thought about it like, like that, though. I never thought about, you know, you kind of know it, but you don't think it. The thought is, if the tell, person tells me, if they ghost me that, if they tell me no, why? Like in the conversation I had with them, um, I, can't, I, I can't do it now. And the very first thing that came to me was, hmm, oh man, wow. But the next one was, so the program is, the program is good. Is there anything wrong with the program? He said, no, 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 no. Then what was the issue? Oh, it's the budget. Ah, it's the budget. So again, communication, communication, communication. Right. And when you get known, some people are like, okay, thank you. Bye. Like they just want to get off the phone. But I guess you have to have that follow-up question to be able to have the confidence to ask, well, can I ask you what it was about the proposal I sent that was that, you know, wow. but I think wow. that's the, that's the key is to be able to ask that question and not be afraid of the answer. And open, you probably open. know the answer. You can probably solve the problem, I would think, unless, you know, so I always ask. I'm like, tell me why you didn't go with me. I, you know, I said, if I, I can, I can, you know, if it's, I can handle it if, if there's a good reason. But if I find out that it's, you know, price or something that I have, that I can fix or that I can, you know, solve the problem, then, then I, I want to know because I want to try to fix it. Correct. And, and when I, I heard you say something, you know, and, and I said, when I said, he told me it was a budget and I, I, I'm going to look back at the package and customize it. We don't want you to go and sell your, to lower your value. Don't lower your value. Don't go because you want a sale. We don't want you to do that. What we want you to do is give equal value for what they can afford. Mm-hmm. So, so in, in, in the case of you, if I, I'm not sure how, what, 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 what it, what it would look like. Is it the, the, the style of shirt that you would provide the person and say, if I have the, a budget of a hundred versus two fifty or five thousand. Mm-hmm. You say, well, I can give you this shirt, but I know this shirt may not be this. This shirt is quality, but it's not as the 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 two hundred and fifty dollars shirt that you will be getting from me. Just want to mm-hmm. let you know, right? And you can you can dumb it down, not dumb it down. Give a much more inexpensive option for them. Yes. What yeah. Well, you, in your you, case? yeah. For me, I, I would say either let's lower the quantity 
um, of how many you're going to get or yeah. And here, or I can find a less expensive item, but I will tell you the reasons why I went with this more expensive item, not because I'm trying to sell more, but because I'm trying to, because it's a quality product, quality you know? Product. So, and I would think for you, it would be the same thing where you would say, you know, instead of saying, I'm going to give you the same package for less money, you just are going to remove like A and D from the package, you know, right. parts of it and say, here, this will still get you where you need to go. And later we can do those two other parts later. So mm -hmm. um, what I'm thinking is, I'm, um, so I've done this a couple of times. I'm going to remove the amount of time and accelerate the conversation within a shorter amount of time right mm -hmm. shorter period of time where he would have gotten more time and and, and and more examples and we would do certain things with them it would just be a, a quick as an acceleration pro, accelerated program mm -hmm. that may even come and bring up a new product for me right right, right? and then you can have like <laughs> add-ons right like if he says oh i need more time with this and you can say okay you know and maybe yes. maybe it's yes. next month or you know and later so yeah, I think it's great. This and this, 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 this talks about. I think in your, in your, as you're selling success, as you're creating your your pricing strategy, your packages, it's important. And I'm talking to you know viewers and even to us also. It's important to give so set tiers, your 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 levels, your various levels. When I started, I had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was crazy. I had a five course meal. N did not have the appetizers by itself. Did not have the entrees. Did not have the desserts. I had the five course and I lost customers, Liz. I mean, I lost them. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it and said, hold up, why? And then it hit me. Some people just want dessert. <laughs> Some right. people just want to come and munch with their buddies. Just want to take a drink. Right. So build your pricing strategy with that in mind, how you, you want to be fed, how you want to. Some people cannot take the whole thing. They want bite size. Right. And for so me, I do. I can do good, better, best. Right. And, there you go. And some people just want the best. They, they don't care. Price is not an issue. They want the best, you know, and other people want something better than the bottom, but they can't afford the top. So you mm. give them something in the middle, but offering them the three levels gives them a choice of, so they can have a choice and, and make a good decision. Correct. And as Liz said, three levels, I think that's a magic number. You know, the, the, the three, it's easy because too many skews will confuse them. Give them the three things, you know, the good, and I, and I <laughs> you, you are so slick, Liz. <laughs> and slick, not in slick the bad way, but slick in a good way. You said it, it came, it rolled off good, better, best, right? That it's not, it, it reminds me of, I went into this men's store. <laughs> Guy had some really nice um, suits, blazers. And I go, oh, okay, that's this. That, and I said, but why, why is this so much cheaper than that? And the guy looks at me and he took offense. He came, stepped up to me, boom, boom, sir. I don't have cheap products in here. I have something that is slightly inexpensive, but they're not cheap. And I was like, ah, later did he know that he was teaching me. You're not, you don't have cheap products because if it's cheap, that's a different connotation than inexpensive. Inexpensive can be good. Mm -hmm. Inexpensive can be great, right? It's just inexpensive at the time. So your your words, what what you said, what I'm trying to, to to pick up here is your words are. You can know by the fruit of the person, but what this did, yeah, by the fruit, but what they say, and you naturally said it. Good, better, best. You you were you were thinking on how to say it. It naturally came up because that's you. So mm -hmm. so. <laughs> well, I, I'll give you an, a specific example too Shoot. in my industry. So uh -huh. I have a, someone who reached out to me. They knew exactly the item they wanted. They said, I want these little espresso cups, uh, like mugs, but mm -hmm. they wanted tiny little mugs. And she said, okay, th like this one. And she sent me a picture from another 
like an online company and I looked at it and I was like, if you're getting a mug and it's like a dollar something, like I knew that it was not going to be good, you know? And I said, so I priced out a couple of different options to her and she didn't hear back from her, you know? Mm -hmm. And then she sends me and I said to her, these, this is the one I, I recommend. I'm pricing the one you gave me, but I recommend these other options. And I didn't hear back from her because I couldn't match the price of the mm -hmm. one that she, anyway, she, I got a message from her the other day and she's like, I got those espresso cups in and they're awful. <sighs> and, and she said, can you please recommend, tell me which ones you recommend? And, and I said, here's the ones I recommend. And I suggest we get samples in before you go and put your, your logo on it. But, um, but I've learned to just, let that go too if she didn't reach out to me and not match that price because I knew that it wasn't a quality product and that when you lower your price mm. to meet that client, yes, you know, they then you're gonna get in trouble and you're gonna it's gonna lower the quality of the product you're you're providing and it's gonna lower the quality of your company. So mm. you need to stick, you need to be able to say no and just or just say, no, I, I can't do that. Or I can't match that. And every time I've tried to do that, it's burned me. You know, I, I haven't, it's hurt me as a, you know, and, and I then end up supplying a product that I don't stand behind. So. Correct. And, and I hear cheap is expensive. Yeah. Cheap, cheap is so expensive. <clears throat> and I, and I, I will, we, 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 we went out this weekend and so Verl and my wife went to buy some shoes and uh, I go, what are you buying shoes in COVID for? <laughs> You're not going anywhere, but anyway, that's a different story. <laughs> so we get, we get to the store and we, I tell her, I said, honey, you know, if you buy a pair of shoes, that would be roughly, if you buy a $250 pair of shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Versus a $50 pair it's not about name brand. It's not about, it's about quality. The $250 pair of shoes will last you for five years plus because mm -hmm. you're not wearing it every day. The $50 one will last you for a year or a month or two. You will go and spend another 50 and another 50 and another 50 buying that same shoe versus buying the $250 pair that will last you for five years, which meant you really spent $50 per year for the mm -hmm. pair of shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Similarly to your client who went and spent what she, so she spent, she spent twice. She's going to have to spend twice now. Oh yeah. So, and oh then shipping goodness. them and she has all these cruddy, you know, not good quality items with her logo on them that probably didn't even print well on there. Um, and now it's just junk, you know, she's gonna have to throw them away, I think so, because you're not gonna wanna give those out to anybody. Um, mm -mm. She's a she's a financial, like a, you know, she's she is a high quality financial company and and uh, and now she, you know, she just threw that money away. So, oh my goodness! Oh, you know, but goodness. I also feel like I should have, like, could I have done more to, to to say, you know, I don't recommend, you know, should I have pushed her more? But she didn't communicate with me what she was thinking of doing. So, Correct. you Correct. know, she just went ahead and did it, and now she's, um, yeah, so now she's back. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, you you got you got the sale. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and, and I and I trust that she will listen to you now, moving forward. Yes, she yeah, I think I think so. You know, so I did some uh, masks for her that came out really nice, and you mm. know, I made sure that the color was exactly her matched her color, and so yeah, so she'll now trust me and and listen to me. I hope. Wow. So, so but, what's on your mind? What what else is on your mind? What else? I know you came here knowing you you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to, like, you know, like I said, mindset is big for me this week, because I felt mm. so overwhelmed. And I'm trying to, I just, I'm on a nonprofit board. And I was on, I got put on three committees. And because I have trouble saying no, and, you know, and they wanted some help. And so I just sent an email this morning to, um, to come off of one of the committees. <laughs> there you go. But, you know, there I just, I just don't yeah. think I can give a hundred percent and, but, um, but, but 
I feel like when I make my list and I get those main things done, like the, my clients that I want to reach out to right now as mm -hmm. an urgency, I have an urgency with that. Then once I get that done, then I can do the, my order processing and my proposals and my nonprofit work. And, but I need to focus. I need to make sure, even though those other things are easier because they're little bits, you know, right. you can just say, Oh, I can just check off these three things really quickly, but then those turn into other things and you know things yes. happen so i think it's about making sure the thing that's going to move your forward your business forward today mm -hmm. what's going to move your business forward what's going to as my as melissa turner says what's going to move the needle what's, what's going to move, move the needle, needle for your business yes. do that first you know Correct. get that done first thing in the morning mm. so that there's no chance because mm. if not like one day this week i was like i have i'm gonna get it done and i had to like push myself to stay at my desk later than I wanted to, cause I, I had to get it done, but, Correct. but if I had done it first thing, it would have been so much easier. So, you, you know, you, 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 you say that I am in the process of thinking my entire from A to Z, Z I was about to say A to zinc, uh, A to Z on, on about my business and it's, how how we how we do social media ads because I've never done social media ads so I'm thinking mm -hmm. hmm, I need to do social media ads I'm thinking on that so social media ads the next piece is how it comes into the website right how the landing pages what am I going to offer that 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 gift or that inexpensive wet your appetite Mm -hmm. that would make them see the value. And then from that, I have, uh, I'm, I'm going to start a group coaching, a group class that will go into the one-on-one, -on -one, like what I'm doing one-on-one -on -one with people now. So all of these things I have to put in place and I have to write an ebook. So that ebook now it's those, as you were saying, these things that I have to do to move the needle, the needle, because that's what 2021 has for me. So I need to start working on those. And I, I, I got the, the, the vision, but now it's, hmm, now I got to write the ebook. Now I got to write the ebook. So just like you, I'm, I'm going, when am I going to start the ebook? When am I going to write it? So it's. it's uh, maybe it's because I, I am still supposed to be setting up my, my consulting, my selling consulting, which I have not done yet. But I will tell you, I have one or two speaking engagements already for in January. So that's, it. that's my, that there's my drop dead date, right? I have to have it done before, before that, but maybe it's about like setting that, like not making it today and not making it tomorrow. Cause you have to work through it in your head, mm -hmm. but maybe saying, okay, before like Thanksgiving or like the week of Thanksgiving, like that's that week I'm going to it's slow, you know, business is slower right. that week. Maybe right. that's the week that I do the ebook. And maybe that's the week I kind of that's get true. my, my stuff done for this, you know, that's and, true. That's but just true. setting like a realistic, you know, cause when everything, I feel like when I have too many things going on, you can't get that big chunk of time to do that big project or to clear your head enough to get that stuff done. So mm -hmm. maybe set a realistic, date for it of like yeah. saying okay i'm gonna this is gonna be the week of thanksgiving and i just you're the second person who's reevaluating their that i've talked to today that's reevaluating their business and i think this is the next phase of covid is like okay we're getting towards the end of 2020 2021 is a new year so yes. i need to it's not even just like oh what am i you don't have the same sales goals you have before for 2021 Correct. because we don't know what it's going to look like. So it's, Correct. so instead we have to kind of, now that we know how this works, we have to kind of reassess how we're doing business and what we're going to do. So mm -hmm. I think everyone is going to go through these, you know, so maybe that should be your next um, program. Woolwin is how to uh, help people transform their business for, you know, <laughs> Maybe that could be a coaching um, session. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, yeah. And I just watched the, have you watched the social dilemma yet? No, I have not. So that, you know, it's all about social media and just how it controls us. And, and, but I thought of it, um, I was looking at it personally and mm -hmm. from business wise, you know, and I, 
I really thought about business wise, like it's, it's the same sort of, you know, they know how to get you, how to, you want to check to see what kind of engagement did I have on that? How many likes did I get on that? You know, yeah. on this, on your business page, how many, who commented? And every time you get that notification, you know, you jump at your phone and, and how that's an addiction. And, right. and you look at it like, well, it's for my business, so it's okay. Mm-hmm. But, but I really looked at it and I don't know if we talked about this before, but I looked at my business and looked at how many, how many customers do I actually get from social media? And from, and I say that LinkedIn is because it's business to business is my platform. So even LinkedIn, how many customers do I actually get from, from LinkedIn compared Mm -hmm. to other things I do? And it's, it's not zero, but it's not, it's not making a big dent in my business. So mm-hmm. why why am I stressing over how many posts I post? What are people thinking? It is is it really making a difference in your bit? You know, people are obsessed with social media and their content and mm. making sure they post three times a day. And like I I don't want to see that you have to post three times a day. If, you know, and to to know what you know. You know, what, what you, what do you ask? You're asking these questions. Do you really care what I think about that? Or are you just trying to <laughs> post that? So I'm very cynical now when I see people asking me questions on social media, you know, about what did you have for dinner tonight? You know, like you just trying to get content now, but. You know, you, you know, no, no, sorry for shutting you. Go ahead. No. Go. I think it's, it's, it's about providing value. Mm-hmm. Everything, everything that you, we put out there must be a value provider. It's, it's, it's people, people, there are levels of engagement. People have become very mature. We've been doing this for a couple of years now. Mm-hmm. They, they, people want to see value. Why is Gary V? um, the guy who is getting all these followers, right? Gary V is putting value out. He's mm-hmm. not, he's not just, and it's video, because right now it's video, right? He's not putting out, uh, okay, so this, this is that, that I, I ate, I ate, um, I ate socks today. What did you eat? There's a level of socks eaters within your, within, ah, here's, when you look at your 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 friends and your business contacts, so let's do LinkedIn. You have different levels within there. You got the ones who would be about social injustice. When you put something on, they will come back, and there will be others who are about ah the picture of the baby, the picture of the dog. There are others who who really want to buy your product. And when you put it out there to go, oh, interesting, great. You know you want to focus on the ones who are buying your products on LinkedIn. So you know the type of information you need to put out, right? Like yours. I saw you when I when you put the PPEs. PPEs are doing this. Here's what we're here's what we have in 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 stock. Here's what's gonna be in the future. I bet that people who were looking for that engaged you and yeah. came. So that's the kind of postings that you need to be putting out. Um, right. You, myself, anybody, mine would be videos to, to motivate, right? It's to, to clear your mind. Here's how you put your systems and processes in short videos because people's spans are <laughs> shorter yeah. now, right? But yeah. that's it's just what you're saying. Nobody wants, let me, some people want to see what you're eating. Yeah. But we're talking about selling success. Right. So and, and someone someone said to me once because I was I used to post a lot of networking events like picture of me with these people and then I could tag them in the picture and and I said to someone I know I was like, oh, but I get so many likes on that, you know, or so many comments on that on that post. She's like, but who's who's commenting and who's liking? Is that your customers or is that your social media friends i'm like oh yeah those are my social media friends like those are not my customers so it you know but you have to have those moments of like realizing like and so for me it's like i'll just think of something i'm like oh people would be interested this is interesting i'll do this right you know today or tomorrow or this is what i'm going to post next but 
but I don't think about it way in advance. I just try to wait till I have that moment of, Correct. of, of clarity. So, 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 so pinpointing, being strategic in, in posting, being, being strategic in that, that if, if, if your, your mm -hmm. business is about name dropping, being seen, mm -hmm. who's who, then we can come and put a picture of, hey, I'm with Liz and we're yeah. hanging with Liz and I'm hanging with Deborah Matthias and I'm hanging, you, you know, I, I see a lot of those and I'm thinking, does that really give them what they want or it's it the, ah, I'm about to say something that I will regret, our narcissistic <laughs> Mm -hmm. um feed right like right. i always i always before i put it up i'm like man I, nobody needs to know i was at this event i'm not putting it up i'm, I'm not I'm i not do think up. there's a level of that you want them to know your name and remember you it's top of mind so that when they do need something or they do have someone who who needs you they they remember who you are but but once again it's putting up content that is relevant Yes, and, relevant and valuable. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that's the bottom line. Rele relevant and valuable content. Yeah, yeah, you can you can put your picture on there, but then the real. I went to a SB Connect Raleigh Small Business Conference, right? Mm -hmm. And I I I take a lot of notes, so I'm taking notes in there. When I got home, I go, oh man, I could go, I could write a coverage on this. So I went on LinkedIn and put, you know, took a picture when I was there of the of the table settings in their their agenda, their program, and I put it up and I wrote ten paragraphs on it, and it was a humorous one. <laughs> uh, and I was there; it was from my viewpoint, but it was giving information about here's what occurred, here's are the, here, here are the things you I picked up and here are the things that you would want to know about this, right? So that gives, yeah, I was there, but I'm giving you value. So there's a, there's a, the people are so elevated in there. They're so, um, that's elevated. They are mature, not mature. They are savvy. Yeah. People are so savvy in, in, in 2020 that they will sniff you out in a second go, ah, there's another one that you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's definitely a game to figure out what if you want comments, you know, like that's a whole different, you know, if you want people to actually engage. But but I I I'm just decided that I'm not gonna stress over that anymore, and that's not where I get my customers. So yeah. you know, I'm just gonna keep going here. And and when you think of if you spent that hour making phone calls. You're, mm. you know, how much more business would you get if you made phone calls for an hour than if you, you know, tweaked your uh, your Facebook post for an hour? <laughs> I, on that note, I'm going to vouch that my social media postings, as much as they give the likes and they give the, you know, the commenting, majority of them have not told me that the budget was high and that I needed to, to go and customize it. Mm -hmm. But my phone call, my phone call to the client did say, hey, the budget, here's my budget. And I know I can bag it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and I do love all my social media people out there. Yes. So, yes. so there is a balance <laughs> of, uh, you know, I don't say throw away all your social media, but um, my daughter, after she watched Social Dilemma, did delete all of her social media off of her phone. So yeah, yeah, she got a little freaked out from it. So, um, so I highly recommend watching it. Even just, it'll freak you out, but I say you need to know, and then you can make decisions based on knowledge. So. Correct. Liz. Yes. Uh, great to see you. Great to Thank see you. you once again. Thank you to all of you out there. We truly appreciate you coming to EP4 of Selling Success. Thank you. And